In this video, I'm going to show you how John Beast runs the best offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about how to get better at Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. And in today's video, we're going to be breaking down a pro player, or at least a player that is uh, competing in the pro Madden Club Championships right now. His name is John Beast. And he's played excellent all throughout this season, um, throughout this tournament. And I think he's actually poised to potentially make a deep, deep run, even though he's already gotten to the semifinals. Um, he, he, I think you could see him make it all the way to the finals. So, anyways, we're going to dive right in. Now, the bunch that John Beast runs is, I, I believe he might have switched to the Seattle bunch. Um, he was running the Carolina bunch until the most recent patch. And then I think he changed and was now going with, some other, with the Seattle bunch. But I want to talk to you about a play that he would go to in specific situations out of the uh, Seattle Gun Bunch tight end formation, and that was the PA boot over. So, and I want to, I'm going to give you a couple different setups here, but the first one that I want to go over is the play uh, Z spot, and this is one of this was what John B's called that ultimately won him the the game against Joke. Um, but this is one of his favorite setups in the entire game, and basically what it what it boils down to is essentially he's going to max protect right so he's going to max protect and then he's actually going to block Tavon Austin when he brings him across now I might not be able to get the block right there see that right there see that and then basically what he's going to do is that square receiver will have playmaker and the playmaker ability in Mutt allows you to basically playmaker them you know different directions so if he wanted to he could playmaker the receiver to the left side or whatever he might want to do the other reason that he would do something like this is because this gives him really, really good pass protection. I mean, it's very difficult to get pressure um, against this style of defense. Now, as you can see in this in this right here, that corner route typically will beat man-to-man -man coverage, um, especially if they do some type of shading um, or some type of different strategy to basically, you know, kind of try to even prevent this thing. Um, this corner route is as long as you have. Um, a good route running receiver out there, you should have a pretty decent time at throwing that corner out against man-to-man -man coverage. So that was kind of one of his plays that he would use if he wanted to have, you know, really, really good pass protection. Another play that he would use, and let's say that he wanted to um, just simply, you know, basically just throw lasers, right? Um, it would be this right here. He would wheel the running back. He would take uh, Tavon Austin and put him on uh, an out route, and then take Robert Tunyon and put him on a streak. And the reason he would do this is against like cover three zones and things like that. Anything that's going to streak up the middle of the field, that corner on the right side is almost always going to go to it. And so what that creates for your for your um, offense is it makes it a lot easier to basically hit this flood concept on the right side of the field. You'll see here these are 25-yard zones. And, yes, they did get there, but I will say that the primary reason that that worked was because of – was because of the uh, ability that, that Jair Alexander has, the deep out elite ability, which I think people might actually want to switch to if they're going to run zone coverage. But anyway, as you see right there, you see he's able to get that, um, basically get that separation on the sideline, which is a huge deal because now people can't just sit in cover three um, against Gun Bunch anymore. Um, you know, I mean, they, not that they could anyway, but they definitely can't now um, because of how good the corner routes are going to be from Tampa. Like, if they were to run, let me show you another defense that a lot of people want to run. This is kind of Dat Boy's uh, defense that he would run against Gun Bunch. But basically, it's just essentially it's cover two. Um, the only thing is that we're trying to basically use those, um, you know, those, those cloud flat zones at a really, really deep depth. And what you'll notice here is this, this corner route, basically when it gets to the sideline, you can basically pass lead that up and have a chance for that to get open. The one thing I would say about Z-Spot is I don't think – you actually get as good of separation as you could get from some other plays um, within this playbook. But this was this was kind of two of his main setups, and then the only other setup that really he ran um, or he really that he runs from bunch consistently is this motion of uh, this this flood play, which basically all we're going to do is we're going to essentially take the running back, either put him on a wheel route, a swing route, block and release, or just block him. Any of those things, right? And then we're just going to basically motion out that streak 
and oftentimes that streak will get open against man. If you have a good route running receiver in the slot, um, that will also that will also get open against man. So those are kind of some of his uh, some of his core concepts that he would use. This you see here, this little motion streak right here, and I know I'm not able to get it open. Part of it's because my route running is not very good um, on Tavon Austin, but that route does beat man in mutt. Um, so anyway, those are his kind of main plays. Um, you know, and again, a lot of playmaker, kind of similar to a lot of the bunch players right now. But in key situations, he would audible to these bunch, uh, this bunch tight end, and this bunch tight end basically just simply delay fading the the tight end at a PA boot over, and essentially just a quick snap change up type of play. But this crossing route has the best crossing route in the entire game. What's really cool about this, as far as like how this works within the gun bunch, and the framework for gun bunch is now the bunch is flipped so it's all the way on the other side of the field and the reason that matters is just because you simply it just forces the there's so many adjustments and of course i'm throwing really really bad reads right now um but it forces the defense to have to adjust to a map a, a very very difficult play to stop and that's this pa boot over the other formation that you have at your disposal um in this is the trips tight end offset formation which John Beast doesn't use that that much but what you can do from the trips tight end offset formation is you could put some RPOs in your scheme you'll see here um, you could have like obviously PA crossers you could do some things with different RPOs um, and different strategies like that one other little piece of this with this PA boot over is you could also let's say that they're let's say that they're running you know Tampa 2 on you or something like that you could also have several setups and I get an ebook that I'm actually releasing um, tonight coming out on, you know, this offense basically, and we only run bunch tight end. But essentially what you'll see here is this corner or this post route when you motion him over from bunch tight end, now you have kind of a feel of three different offenses that are super, super high level. You have bunch, you have bunch tight end, and then you also have this, um, this, but this trips tight end offset, which is essentially trips tight end. The only difference I think is that you don't have some of the plays that you do have from trips tight end, but this inside zone, I think it's even better from this trips tight end offset, and it has several other runs that you can go to. So the Seattle playbook and the Jets playbook are two of the most popular playbooks in the entire game. This clear out SE out play is super super good. We talked about that a little bit with Wesley's offense, but really what John Beast was really doing a lot of was this corner out right here from Z spot. Now what I would actually recommend to you is let's say that you wanted to run bunch tight end you could go to this play here curl flat over and i haven't talked i've talked about this a little bit but this corner route right here there's no zone drop in the game that can stop it and i actually really really like running it to the short side of the field just as much as i like running it to the wide side of the field so they're very nice little um plays that you can audible into to kind of catch the defense off guard and go with something like this so Really excited to watch John Beast tonight. I think he's going to do a great job. If you want to get my bunch tight end ebook when it comes out, just text me. I'll shoot you a link to it. If you want to get my full gun bunch offense, go ahead and text me as well. My number is 812-216-3644. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.